I did it again. Hold on. Well, hello. <laughs> Thank you for clicking in. Hi, Jack. Um, there's a few people here. So I, oh, hi, Sweet Tea's Treasures. Hey. Um, normally I pre-record a preview and it is either a long form where I go over everything and I talk about it and I handle it or it's a video that I really enjoy doing. It's kind of like, um, you know, music. It's uh, the things that I've picked out to music, um, you know, and it shows what it is and then maybe a close-up of a detail or something. And I haven't had any time to do that because I am moving. So this is a preview for this week's auctions. The auctions are tomorrow wednesday and friday at 7 p.m hi if you're new um uh my name is dawn this is hudson vintage i um uh i have a vast uh uh library of videos that i do on vintage jewelry and how to wear it and vintage accessories hi kirsten and um if you've been around a while and you're following along you know that I am moving, so I have, I'm basically really exhausted. I just haven't stopped and um, I haven't been able to make the pre recorded video the way that I normally do. So I'm just going to do it live um, and we'll do it. We'll, I'll show you everything together. Also, everything, I'll show it together with you. Um, and if you were here last week when we did the um, antique mall field trip oh my god that was so much fun um i really loved it and it was really it was to say thank you to all of you um who i have a relationship with um because if we have a relationship and we know each other i could literally go there and pick something up for you and send it to you um it's not sent out yet the whole point of that was to save me some work um because i'm moving I only did the auction last Wednesday, not Wednesday and Friday. And Friday, instead of having auction night, I went in the afternoon to the antique mall field trip. So all of the things that you guys got will go out the next time I send you a package. That way it's not extra shipping work for me, which was the whole point, was to not have a day of shipping on Saturday. That will take a whole day. And to be able to focus on what I need to do 
to move on time. So um, I hope that makes sense. So if you're watching now or you're watching in the replay and you got something from the antique mall, I will be sending it off with your next package. Um, and um, so if you get anything tomorrow night, it'll go out. And if not, it'll go out, um, you know, Saturday. If you get anything tomorrow or Friday, it'll go out on Saturday. And if you don't, it'll just wait until your next package. Um, so I'm glad to see you all here. And I'm going to start with the, oh, another thing is I want to take a, a poll. Um, there's not enough people in the chat right now. If you're here, I know you're watching. If you're here, say hello in the chat. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Just say hi. Um, please. I, I'd love to meet you. Um, so uh, if you're lurking, you know. So I'm going to start with the preview. And everything is in storage. I moved everything to storage. It's all being staged. Hi, Jeanette. It's all being staged to be moved. So the things that I have put together for this week's auctions are things I'm revisiting and some things, again, that I'm just parting with because I need to buy furniture and, you know, moving expenses and all of that. Hi, Diana. So nice to see you. Thank you for saying hello in the chat. I really appreciate that. So, um, so here's the preview, okay? So this is the first thing. This is very famous. This is a Trafari snake collar. It is signed. Um, this will be up for auction tomorrow. This is really, really a collectory piece. Um, I think it's 1950s, if I remember correctly. It's Oh, these will be coming up. These are so cool. Look how arty and awesome these are. I wore these all day today. I love them with this kind of, um, you know, art inspired top, you know, uh, I just think it's cool, you know, the gallerist look. So these will be coming up. I'll be putting these in, um, grouped together. I really do love them that way. And this will be coming up the old Trafari in perfect condition, really beautiful signed, um, we also have, uh, okay, so this is one of the things that um, I'm, I'm going gonna, uh, I'm gonna to bring it to auction tomorrow. It is supposed to be permanent collection. It should be about $1,500. Um, I researched it again recently because I realized I was putting it up. Um, so good to revisit when you've had things a long time because they really go up in value. So this is it. Um, this is my Sterling DeRosa set. This is Art Deco. This is about, this is, you know what? I wrote it down. I, I, it's unbelievable how much this weighs. Um, okay. So I am starting this tomorrow at $500. So if you've wanted it or you've wanted one or whatever, it's $1,000 off as the starting bid. So um, so here it is. It's very heavy sterling. It's 123 grams or 4.27 ounces. It is Art Deco um, gold, heavy gold over heavy sterling. Um, it is the height, it is signed DeRosa. It is rare. It is signed DeRosa. Um, I'll see if I can get it right there. DeRosa Sterling. And it's just, it's the height of, of beautiful deco and, um, amazingly, Amazingly, I also have the bracelet. So uh, it's an opportunity to put in the first bid at 500. Um, and it's, it's really because I'm moving. This was, this is in my videos. This is in my collection videos that people use for reference um, when they're learning about vintage jewelry. There it is. Look at that deco. Look at that. Look at it. The motif it's like what you see in the iron grates and skyscrapers in manhattan and chicago so that will be on the block 
tomorrow and I will send it with the case that I keep it in if someone bids and wins. Um, next up, we have uh, we have Haskell that I am starting at $200. When you see it, you will be like, oh my God, why is she starting it so low? But it's a bit of a project. It's an important one. Look at the colors. But you have to be willing to take it on project wise. It has, um, it's wearable, but it has, see the, see the wire there? That's where the twist came off. I do have the beads and um, also the earrings. And I thought I would not be selling this. I wanted to be the custodian of it and take care of it and, um, you know, fix it basically. Look at those pearls. That is, this is how the earring sits. This is so cool. It has a little bit of movement. Look how marvelous. Um, and then the other earring has a condition issue as well. So I'm starting it at um, a, a really silly price. I mean, you know, everyone that uh, sees the Haskell that I'm able to bring um, is, you know, knows the condition of the things that I usually bring. And, and, you know, something like this is probably normal, you know, like what other, like what you would see on eBay or other places in the internet. See, it's just, it's missing, it's missing one here. Um, but otherwise great, but I mean, they're just beautiful. The colors are great. Um, so this, I will be starting, look at it at, that's a Hask. This is an important, this is like a one of a kind. That's their A line. So I'll be starting that at 200 and I hope that if someone bids and wins that they are, um, committed to, um, twisting down that wire and such so oh i'm gonna put these back in their little bags yeah and then what else um oh i'm bringing um see you can see like i have a lot of things that i just kind of pulled um i'm starting with like the top first you know um i but there's a there's a little bit of everything so it's not just all super expensive um, because because I am moving. <laughs> so this is coming up. This is in uh, the shop on the website right now. Um, but this is a St. John from the Silas Estate. These are St. John hoops. And this is a St. John bracelet signed um, in its original pouch. These are great together. Um, these are uh, unworn, you know, uh, new old vintage. So that will be coming up, old St. John. Um, oh, these are funny. I that that video that I did recently, I forget which one it was in, but I had like um. Oh, it was a thrifting haul. I uh, I found a I I got a bag. I bought a bag, a, a mystery bag for two dollars and. I ignored these because they were a little scratched and then I looked at them today and they're Givenchy, signed Givenchy. So those will be coming up. I mean, they're a little scratched, but it doesn't matter. They're great. Um, I am gonna be showing this. This is pink jade. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the color on that. This is old pink jade. Now, this is what's so interesting. I have not checked the gold yet, and I don't remember, but this is beautiful, no clasp, but you can use a shortener with it. Um, somebody say something. I feel like, yeah, no, I guess you're all just watching. That's cool, okay. <laughs> so that's coming up. That's old. This is what's so funny. This is new. <laughs> this is, 14 carat. Hi, Timeless Jewels by Deborah. This is pink jade, new pink jade. These are lovely hoops. 
I do love these. Um, let me show you what they look like on the, these are coming up. I have so many earrings. I pulled a bunch of Art Deco earrings from my collection. Um, and I know people have asked about, you know, those, those videos that I did that show the earrings, um, the earring collections in the Art Deco um, period stuff. Um, I know I've gotten questions about some of the earrings that are coming up. So look how pretty these are. These are great. These are pink jade and 14 karat gold. Newer. I mean, by new, I mean 1980s, 1990s. And then this is older. And that's pink jade as well. Isn't that interesting? So most likely, I don't know how they enhance jade, but I'm imagining that that's not a natural color jade. I don't know. Either that or it's just super high end and then, you know... I haven't tested the gold content on that. I don't know. Um, then keeping in with the pink theme, mine as well. Might as well. Just sitting here drooling. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad to hear. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, you know, some people when they need, you know, I've, I've known people, um, um, artist types, right. And, um, it, you know, sometimes when they need money, they'll just sell a piece of art, right? For me, it's jewelry. So, um, so keeping in the pink theme, I have the Betsy. Oh, I love this one. Um, this has the heart carabiner that actually works. So you can really use this handily for other things. It is signed, um, and that has charms in it already. Um, look how great this is a good one. This is a great one. This is a really great one. Really. Um, so that's coming up. I have these Betsy. Oh, and I, and I, you know, I'm going to start things like this really reasonably. Um, I'm really going to shoot. I mean, if it's, you know, even, even this, even the DeRosa. You know the oh the four four point two seven uh, ounces ounces not grams of sterling Art Deco de Rosa with gold over it. Um, starting this at five hundred is way reasonable. So yeah, so the goal is to start everything reasonably, get the bids in. Look how pretty those um those are going to be in tomorrow. Um. Clara Studio. I love these. I'm not wearing, I have so many earrings in a ring. Look how great these are. These are like some of my favorites. These are so nice. So nice. Um, the Monet, the Monet I'm bringing back. Um, the Monet collar, the flat herringbone. Okay. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, yeah. Okay. So lots of sterling earrings. Oh, well, before I do this, there's like a whole stir. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll back to the pink. This, I have to test the chain. Um, there were two of these. I was keeping one. I love it so much. It's really delicate and old and beautiful. And believe it or not, I'm going to bring this too. I mean, this, I've been wearing this, you know, but got to do it. So, um, so this is an opportunity right here. This is very delicate for its age. They just don't survive. Um, it's exquisite. Look at the, the hairpin chain and I have to test the content of the gold. It actually lays in a, as, as a curve when you're wearing it, it doesn't look great on that bust. The clasp has changed color, but I think it's different content than the chain. So we shall see and just look at that. They don't make these anymore. So, um, and then, uh, okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of earrings now. I'm just going to show you. I pulled all these little things from my collection. I have a bunch of rock crystal. I don't know which ones. <laughs> Please vote. So these are pair one. These are really special. Look at the, look at that. Look at the height on that kind of dome and the rose cutting okay these are all old 
old, old, old. So this is uh, rock crystal number one. These are rock crystal number two. These are also exquisite. I think these are gold or gold content screw. Backs can't remember. So that'll be number two. This The fact that this has this big flat kind of table makes it look like it gives it a really modern, timeless, you know, it's very angular. So that's number two. And then these are the ones that I wore the most. Um, I guess it's because I had jewelry that had black in it that I probably sold. But look, these these are also, I mean, look at, the, look at that. That's only Rock Crystal does that. And that is... Um, set over black it's it's like a doublet okay so yeah so and that's number three and i'm i'm leaning towards still keeping these these are the ones i wore the most i don't know i i did wear them all look at the size of these with the height i mean they're all different it's like it's really hard so just just let me know in the comments one two or three what you like the best okay um we have these little silver chandelier um, kind of hoops. You like number one, number one. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Number there. These are, I think these are probably the most extraordinary. Like you won't see, look, you can see the screws in them. They're, they're, they're a hot ticket. I mean, they're just, you just don't see that. Um, so there you go little sterling see something for everyone little sterling chandeliers all right it looks like number one is winner thank you for voting i expect if you're watching in the replay also vote these are great these are old um what was the name of it quack 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 it, it early 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 carolyn pollock um when she was part of i think it was quark turquoise or quack turquoise or something Look at these, they're, they're winged. There's a left and a right with pearls. These are hers, or early hers. Now, long gone, first, first jewelry company. Aren't these amazing? I wish I could hold them straighter. But you get the idea, number one. Okay, all right, okay. So we're gonna put number one in there. All right, then we have um, I know, I feel like Christine asked, Christina asked about these or she already got ones. So these are true Art Deco blue glass, also really, really crazy to find, um, with the ring. I mean, super delicate. Um, and I put them on, I upgraded the back. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying the preview. I, uh, these are... Leverbacks that are quite expensive. They actually function as leverbacks that you can use for any drop. Like they're they're supposed to convert anything. See, I bought these especially so I could use them over and over with different drops. I will leave these earring, these leverbacks. These are an item just on their own. This little finding. Um, see, it uh, it comes off. So it's very useful when you collect deco earrings to have lever backs like this. And because I have packed everything up and put it away to move, I'm leaving it as is. So I will have to buy these again for myself, but I will be auctioning these off tomorrow. And they are marked, I think they're 14 karat gold filled, if I remember correctly, but look at how nice they're made, like for real. And then the earrings are just to die for, to die for. Okay. Um, I have a whole group of sterling marcasite earrings that I'm just going to put together. I have uh, these lovely drops. Okay, and these are going to be grouped with these J hoops. And the flowers and these are all old 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 okay um and then i'm throwing in this weird little 
Um, I'll do that separate. I'm throwing in the little silver football helmets. Those are kind of fun, nice detail. Sterling. So that's a group of four. Um, I'm going to bring this. This is a, I think it's a mercury dime that's been cut out. This is an old men's tie tack. So that'll show up this week. These thought I would keep forever. I love these. These are the ginkgo leaves, the RLM. These are sterling. These have the, um, the black finish. It's there. The black is really, really rare. Like somebody got my one world in the black. It's, I think it's called Ruth, Ruthium or Ruthanium. I don't know. I've been working so hard, <laughs> but I, I know, you know what I mean? Um, so, and I had the, I had the one world in the black and the silver and I, I sold, I sold it, you know, and you just can't get them anymore. But, um, here it is. Here's, here's the mark. These are collectible. Like these are already, um, you know, it's Robert Lee Morris Sterling. They're not doing Sterling anymore. So ginkgo. Um, also going to be bringing um, lots of like fun things to choose. I have this little fun um, pendant watch that has um, a bail on it. It's like so weird, that it, but it has the bail on the thing. See, and then you can wear it on that side too. So that, that's the side I would wear it on. Um, going to be bringing that. Uh, I have more little like deco and things. I have, um, here, did I get everything out of this box? Oh, um, I have these little gold earrings. I forgot about these. You know what? I'm going to throw these tiny studs. I have to test them. I think they're 14 karat. I'll just throw those in with the... Um, the marcasite. I'll just then we have these. These are deco. Okay, awesome. Yay, Janda. Hi, Christina. Um, Christina, if you just showed up, were these promised to you or did you get the ones already? I couldn't remember. You know, I've been pulling, forgive me. I just I I have like everything's away, so I've just I you know. I'm parting with things that I didn't think I would part with, um, as well as things that are just kind of here that are the last of the things that haven't been moved yet. So anyway, look at these. These are exquisite. This is the good kind of deco. Um, no, not you. Okay. All right. Good. So I think that you already got the ones you want. Look the like that's it that's the one you want that's like every day forever deco good you know excellent excellent exquisite um okay so that's that box i also have a giveaway in there that i'm not going to show you now this i'm revisiting this this is the sweetheart cameo this is so good i mean look at the look at the gold on that I believe it's only gold filled, but it looks like, you know, it's perfect. It looks like 18 carat. Um, and it's a big bracelet. Like it's not, you know, I really wanted to keep this one. <laughs> All right. Um, this, this is great. I think this is Liz Claiborne um, or Anne Klein. Look at, look at that. It's, it's great. Um, oh, these are early and Klein. Look at these. These are special. Early, early and Klein. There are earrings that match this. This was from the days that Robert Lee Morris was at Anne Klein. The gold clad. You know, this was before it was a, you know, the, the factory company thing. Look how beautiful. Look, it reminds me a little of Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Yeah, please hit the, the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So there you go. Um, did I just see a hand signature? No, it's just rubbed. Gold clad. All right, so those are coming up. I have this weird little, um, I think this is 10 carat or 10 carat, 10 or 12 carat gold filled um, little football. These are really collectible. I've just been like 
looking at it forever so I'll let that go it's really neat um, I have the two little um, pin drop you know pendant holders um, these were actually originally made for watches I don't know what the gold content is on these they are at least gold filled I have two of them that I will be selling together they're really wonderful what you do with these is you wear them clustered you hang like cameo pendants from them and you put them on plaid in the fall you know that's how you wear something like that and it's very 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 cool any little um, old filigree pin that you have like from Coro or any locket um, or a cameo um, you hang it you hang them from here and it I mean you are cool that is cool girl vintage you see that you see how that mechanism works and then you cluster them on the lapel I'll be prepared I'll show you tomorrow um, and then this and I have to I have to wrap it up this was my mom's this is Agatha we bought this out together on Madison Avenue at Agatha it's beautiful uh, I think it's still collectible it's a little Scotty it's what they're known for um, that's coming up so see lots of selection oh I bought these um, because I was gonna make something out of it I I got three of them I was gonna make a bigger pendant or whatever and I didn't do it so I'm gonna offer all of these tomorrow in one group they're all different kinds of um, amber little drops they're kind of stunning you know I was gonna group them together and hang them from a pin or like I could see like still even now you hang it from a cameo or like look how beautiful these are so I'm it looks like a bouquet of look at it it's a bouquet of amber starting out at $30 um what else oh okay is that everything in the little boxes yes that's everything in the little boxes now we have this okay so this um i found the thing that i needed to do for it this is incredible look at this right and I found the perfect finding. I will put it on if you want. It is really, really perfect. It is this piece with the bezel, right? So I was going to put it on and have it work like that. And I can either put it up. See, look how perfect. I mean, it's really perfect because it's a bezel. See, it looks like it was always there. Um, and I could put a little gold ball on the top. So it's very correct looking. Or I can put it that way and hang a little pearl from the bottom. But Or I can just take that, um, that ring off, that little jump ring off. But it's it's really the right thing i mean it really is it's just so so correct so i will do that before i send it out it's it's amazing i thought i was going to be keeping this one um and then on that note i have as well like the perfect earrings to go with but we'll be selling separately see it's that same same brown I just happened upon it it's just I've had this for years and years and years in my um sort of creative I have a I have a box of things that I you know create with like but look at these these are climbers and they also have the um the foil or easter egg beautiful beautiful so these are coming up um I am revisiting this. I, I really feel like it was underappreciated last time, or maybe it was just, look at it, this is gold. Look at, look at how beautiful that is. Gold-plated, Art Deco, pin pendant. 
That'll be in tomorrow. And when, oh, I'm gonna bring this ring back. This is Cameo over Amber. It's an Uncas. It's Sterling Old. That's Shell Cameo over Amber. Look at that. This is something you do not see every day. It's old. It's a little, the ring is actually a little misshapen. It does not detract. There you go. Oh, she's upside down. Yeah. I'm bringing that back and I'm starting it lower. Um, than I did last time. And then, what else? I did the amber, I did the snake. I feel, oh, there's a, ster there's a bunch of sterling, e there's a few, there's sterling left. Okay, so back into the sterling. This, love this. I know you have seen it before, um, it's not, the most unusual, but it's still, yeah, it's still adorable. The little mouse, Sterling. It's a lovely pin. Um, there's the back of it. That's coming up. I will start that at a motivating starting bid. These, I love these, wanted to keep them. These are the exact ones, the exact ones. Like you always see me in my videos, I talk about, you know, the classic hoop and I show, pictures of you know Audrey Hepburn in hoops and Angelica Houston and Elizabeth Taylor and all that these are them these are the ones this is exactly like the Audrey earrings these are Mexican sterling they're just the right earring <laughs> I don't know how else to put it oh are they Mexican or does that say something else let me see Oh no, they're not. They're they're better. They're they're ban, ban um uh I can't say it Bayana Han. Bayana Han. Yeah. B A Y A N I H A N. There you go. Fab, 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 hinge door knockers after Cartier. Cartier, as they say. Um and then Last but definitely not least, <laughs> I wanted I wanted these. I wanted to wear them a lot. Um, they're wonderful. These are Electroform two tone, so you can put the sterling near your face or the gold near your face. Hi, Lady Sylvia. Yeah, that's super collectible. Um, I'm I'm sure you know. Uh, I had another one uh, 10 years ago. Like that's how, that's how long it takes. Um, so you could wear it that way or you could wear it these, uh, this away. See, different with the gold next. I want, like these, I, I thought these were mine. <laughs> They're, they will be up tomorrow. So there you go. They're special and wonderful electro form two-tone sterling chunky perfect dome next to the face and there you go and the last pair also um is this these are the mexican ones these look like the robert lee morris uh, morpheus so um there you go modernist to the core to the core all right and with that i will say thank you very much for watching and um oh yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you all at seven tomorrow and uh i signed my lease today i signed the lease so um and and thank you all really i cannot thank you enough that field trip was a thank you to you um and we'll talk about that more okay Bye. See you tomorrow. And I'm going to go watch Gina right now. So I'll see you in Gina's chat.